Would I Lie to You is a novel I wrote about family secrets. The idea for the book came from a story a friend told me after her husband died. She said that a son of his turned up that she had not been told about. And I was fascinated with the whole idea of the secrets that we keep from each other, even in the most intimate of relationships, and how that can happen. The, the post, postscript to that story is that when it, the book was finished, she asked me, what had led me to write the book, and I said, that was the story you told me, and she said, well, I, I had never met him, but I knew he existed. And I thought that was interesting. You see what memory does, it takes you to a place with, to something you want to deal with. I really couldn't quite understand how two people who were supposedly so close could keep that deep a secret, how he could have a son and never tell his wife that he had a son. And so that was where I started. This led me to want to write and to try and figure out the interrelationships of people around secrets like this. I just couldn't understand how this could happen. Interestingly enough, I have subsequently been told all kinds of stories by people who have had their own family secrets. So it hit a nerve, I think, or touched something. Only by chance had he seen the obituary in the Globe and Mail at his dentist's office in Stratford, Thomas thought. As he started to turn the pages, a name caught his eye, a familiar name, Gerald Foster Reed. It had startled him so much he had almost left without seeing the dentist. Could it be that this man was his father? The birth date had made it possible. He had read the full obituary then, born in Stratford, Ontario. It had to be the same Jerry Reed he had been told about, 